You're watching NBC for New York. And now, David Ushery, Carolyn Gussoff, and Joe Moreno. This is News Channel 4, weekend today in New York. For many baby boomers, summer vacation time means bringing along maybe an aging parent or other elderly loved one for the trip. Elder care expert Dr. Marion Summers is the author of Elder Care Made Easier, and she's here to explain the top five things that you should be prepared for a long trip away from home. Dr. Marion, always wonderful to see you. Well, thank you very much. You know, a lot of times we're going on vacation this summer, and people may say, well, I'll bring my elderly relative with me. It'll be easier. But you don't realize while you're at home, there's a lot of things you need you have to take away on vacation with you. It's better to be proactive than reactive. And the more you get prepared, the better. To make this easier for people, we've got an easy way for you to remember it as well. We're going to call this elders, and we're going to start with the first letter, E. The first one is for emergency contacts. Any doctors, lawyers, uh, anyone, family members, anyone that you need to contact on an emergency basis, have their names written out on a sheet of paper, keep it with you at all times, and keep a list somewhere back at home right. that somebody has. Something happens, you need to get in contact with people, and you, oh, I left that number at home. Right. The next letter, of course, is L, and that stands for legal papers. Really, do you want to bring wills and health care proxies with you? No, 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 don't bring them with okay. you, but make sure they're up to okay. date. Wills, health care okay. proxy, durable power of attorney, do not resuscitate order. Anything that pertains to the elderly, bring, make sure they're up to date. Okay. Excellent idea here. A doctor's visit, maybe before a long trip, have a loved one get a checkup. It's good to know what their baseline health is and also to make sure the doctor says it's okay. Oh, that's a good. Uh, essential documents. So this is different from the legal documents, but there's a lot of essential documents, and here you're talking about driver's license, credit cards, etc. Why important to have that? Make a Xerox copy mm -hmm. of anything you're going to bring with you on the trip. If it's lost or stolen, God forbid, you want it a copy of it somewhere that, because nowadays you can fax it or email it and this way you can get duplicates or get out of a country if you, if you need to. We get to R. This may be the most important letter in all of this, elders, which is prescription refills. Boy, is that important. You don't want to be out of town and then someone runs out or missing a prescription that they need. We'll use the R as an RX. Okay, so. RX. <laughs> so make a Xerox copy of prescriptions. Even when I go on a trip, I make sure I have an extra set of glasses with me or I have my prescription for my glasses with me. Anything that I might need on the trip, if it gets lost, stolen, broken, falls down the toilet, you have to make sure that you've got copies of whatever it is you need. Uh, S, the final letter, actually stands for something I think a lot of people might forget, which is special requests. You can call ahead to airlines and even hotels. You may need wheelchairs, uh, special transportation, special meals on the plane. Anything that is unique to the person that you're traveling with, but S also stands for enjoy. This is a special event. Make it special because these memories become even more precious as time goes by. It's really true for a lot of families. Dr. Marion, as always, thank you so much for joining thank us. We you really so appreciate much. it. We'll be right back.